Oh my goodness. Sox degrees this week. We got two people on at the same time for the first time. We got Adam Amin, Stacy King, Bulls announcers, and now Sox announcers. And we didn't start the podcast two hours and three minutes late with a tarp on. <laughs> I, 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 very, I, I would have been nice. It would have made us feel right at home had, uh, had there been a two hour delay, but uh, we appreciate you having us on boys. Uh, Stacy, uh, how was, how was baseball analysis on Friday? Let's just say I have a new appreciation for what you guys do. Um, I, my job, my day job's a lot easier than your, your job. So, uh, I, I came away with a new appreciation for what you guys do for 160 something games. I don't know how you do it but you should be uh, really taken care of financially for doing those things. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is the whole point. This was the whole point of the podcast. It's just Jason and Len trying to maneuver their way <laughs> to, to, to better deals. More Rightfully money, so. more money. <laughs> hey. Stacy, what was the hardest part, Stacy? Um, you know, cause the game is, is, is so slow and there's a lot of dead time in there. So you've got to constantly talk, which is not a problem for me. Um, just, you know, the players knowing their, their stats, um, you really got to be in depth in, in, uh, in baseball, you know, um, there's so many, so many, so much stuff to, to go over in a baseball game because you have so much time in a basketball game. You know, I can hit one or two points and move on because the game is going so fast. You know, I can tell you, well, last, you know, last five games, you know, Zach Levine averaged 24 points and, you know, eight assists. And then I'm off that topic. But in baseball, you know, you can talk about, you know, uh, Jimenez, you know, hitting, you know, 270 over the last six or seven ball games, four home runs. He had, you know, had a great game against XY pitcher, had a double in that game because there's so much time to talk about and elaborate that stretch that he was on, per se, in basketball. Adam, I heard the toughest part was DoorDash. (laughs) <laughs> we had yeah that thankfully if that's the worst or the, or the most difficult thing that happened on a, on a night i'm actually okay with it so we did have uh we did have a whale of a time trying to get some dinner for, for i wasn't us okay with it i wasn't okay with it i was highly upset i'm like how in the world can you mess up pf chain twice i ordered pf chain twice it cost me like 300 bucks and they never delivered my food Stacy was kind enough to like, Hey, you know, well, I'll get, we'll get you some dinner. And I was like, Oh, that's really, really kind of, you know, like it was, he was really excited about doing that. And we were all ready to go. And then the rain delay hit and then the food delay <laughs> was just as upsetting, if not more so and understandably. So. Oh yeah. my God. You know, what's funny about baseball. And I was just thinking about the diversions you can take in baseball because it's not a linear sport and basketball I think hockey, football, you know, all have a little bit of a a connective tissue in that generally they're, you know, you're going side to side as you watch the action. Whereas baseball, you have a lot of different angles. And as Stacey, you mentioned a lot of downtime. So you can go in a lot of different directions. You got to be careful, right? You got to pick the right directions. But um, it does lend itself to um, veering off on occasion. Yeah. Yeah. I found that. I found that. be quite fun to be honest with you because like I can just be myself you know like I could you know add my little humor in when it was a I just wish it was more action I I wanted some more home runs I wanted some more strikeouts uh the Sox didn't play particularly well and they would lose on our debut which kind of sucked um (laughs) I was I was I was looking for some home runs I was looking to yell sriracha give me the hot sauce I didn't get to say any of my good stuff Hey, you got a you got a Leori Garcia jumping catch at shortstop. Oh uh, yeah, that now that was sweet. I thought that was going to be the start of the night right there. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. See, I get we, spoiled in basketball. I get that's that's in that's basketball. that's where we're at those days because I could sense like because we were trying to kind of you know uh, w- softly walk into this. We were trying to like just tread softly into the whole thing. We wanted to get a rhythm early. You know, I've I've done baseball obviously, so I, I kind of had a sense for it. But I wanted to make sure Stacy was comfortable. As soon as that happened. Stacy got excited. You know, obviously we're in the little, the, the room together. I can see him get pumped up. I was like, all right, I had the same <laughs> sense. I'm like, this is it. Yes, this is what we want. We, we're going to have a good time. It's going to be a fun game. Stacy's going to have some energy. And then it was mostly downhill for that particular night. <laughs> hey, then he, then he went and hey. called you Tito Jackson. Hey, 
I, I, it wasn't it, the first time. Wasn't the first time. <laughs> hey, listen, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was so bad that I was getting excited on long fly balls. I was like <laughs> excited, you know, warning track balls. I was all excited. I was like, oh, and then oh, oh. It truly was. It truly was a, like a fan, you know, an, an educated, informed fan, but like a fan appreciating because that's how you are. Like if you're just having a beer and a, and a hot dog at a game and you're down the right field line and you're talking to your buddy and then you hear the crack of the bat and a little bit of a gasp from the crowd, you see, all right, this could be a home run. And if it's not, you feel disappointed. And if it is, and you get excited, it really did have that feel to it. And I, I know you guys have known this because you guys have been in the booth with a lot of different people. And, and Jason, we, we referenced the Bill Walton thing, but like, that's kind of how it is. You just, yeah, you, you, you're enjoying having somebody whose energy is a little bit more raw and connected to just what's happening in front of them. I'm curious, uh, and, and Adam, I know you're, you're pretty active on social media, and Stacy, you know, did, did you guys check out Twitter and after the game, did you want to hear what people had to say? Because invariably, a lot of people are going to love it because it's different, and a lot of people are going to hate it because it's not the guys they know, and they're going to say, oh, you know, who are these guys, right? So, um, you know, I, I tried to do a little less of the uh, immediate feedback loop, which can get a little ugly, mm -hmm. but... Um, did Adam, what was your uh, take on uh, everything? I saw people really enjoyed it. Me too. I, I, I think the, the feedback was, was overall pretty overwhelmingly positive, I think. And anybody who didn't like it, it was for the reasons that you said. And I am completely used to that on a national level. I think baseball, all the sports that I do and, and Jason does and Len, you do the national games too. I, I think we have a, a very immediate reaction, a kind of an initial knee jerk reaction for most baseball fans. I don't think this is the case in basketball as much, although it is a little bit. I imagine it's the same in hockey, but in baseball in particular, because of the length of games, the length of the season, the day in and day out that you spend as a fan with your radio announcer, with your TV announcers, with your crew that you know, anytime any one of us parachute in for anything nationally, we're going to get a little bit of that because we're not what you're used to. And that's fine. I've gotten better about shoving that aside and, understanding where people are coming from and not to take it as personally as I definitely did when I was younger, but I thought it was overwhelmingly positive. And I imagine it being Stacy, you know, at least people were going to give you a chance. And if they enjoyed it the way they typically enjoy Stacy, I, I figured the, the positive feedback would be there for us. Yeah. I, I got nothing but positive feedback. Um, I, I think people understand like, Hey, look, you know, it's a crossover. You got basketball guys coming over to do baseball games. Let's, you know, my attitude was let's not mess it up and, and embarrass ourselves or embarrass the White Sox, uh, be a little knowledgeable. Because I, I did play baseball, so I do know a little bit about baseball. Um, you know, do my research, the quick research that I did going into it. So I was, I was well informed going in there. I think the key for me was to be myself, you know, to like where people are so used to seeing me on Bulls games. Uh, because, you know, we've had some difficult times in, uh, with the Bulls when we were losing, you know, last year. You know, me and Adam have to keep the crowd engaged. We got to keep the listeners and the viewers engaged. So we're kind of used to that. So you know, being down six runs, <laughs> you know, if, if that's the equivalent of, to like a, a 20, 20 point blowout, we've had yeah, a couple of those I mean, in our time. You know, it was kind of easy for us to go back into our normal mode that we're used to doing as far as keeping the viewers engaged. I mean, I was in the grocery store the other day, and like, oh my god, you got to do more sauce game. I'm like, God, oh, no. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm done. I'm He's retired. done. He's already I'm out. I'm retired. I did my one game. I'm retired. I'm, I'm done. Hey, for three years, when I was parachuting in doing a Bulls game here and there, you were like, when are we doing a Sox game? When are we doing a Sox game? <laughs> you know what? You know what, Jason? I do owe you one because you're the one who, who brought this idea yeah. up. So I do owe you a game. So I am I need to open. See it. I am open to do a game with you because I that was that was our little deal back in a couple of years ago that I said I would come in and do a game. And then I saw Bill Walton do it, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be Bill Walton. I'll be a little bit knowledgeable of the game, but I definitely would do a game with you. My, I will come out of retirement for one more game at some point to do it with, with Jason. I <laughs> see you. We got to get Stony with Adam doing a Bulls game. If we take a Bulls game off. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if Stacey wants to take the Phoenix game off or something hey. like that, just while Stoney's out there. Hey, listen, he, can, he, can, he can feel it any time he wants to. Does, does he even know basketball? DeMar DeRozan is a fantastic player. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, oh we, we, we also can't bury the lead here, Adam. Um, 
when's your Blackhawks game coming up? Because oh, uh, that's the only that's the only team you need to cross off the list. It's, uh, no. No, seriously, Adam, it's impressive. I mean, you you've done all four teams, uh, and and other than the Blackhawks, you know, you you've kind of hit hit them all, and that's uh that well deserved, and uh, it it doesn't go unnoticed. I, I appreciate that. Uh, Paul Seldeman was nice enough to point that out back in July when I had a, a Cubs game, and I told he's like, "Well, where are you at next week?" I said, "Oh, I got the Sox on the South Side next week." <laughs> And he goes, oh, and then you got the Bears next month, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll do the Bears preseason. And he goes, that's the brick. And I was like, it didn't, it didn't register in my head what he meant by that. I was like, I know what the brick is. It's Jack Brickhouse who did all these teams and all in one calendar year. I've, I, I don't know how often it's been done. It's, it's really cool to have done that. But I don't, I've never associated myself with Jack Brickhouse in any sense other than we kind of had the same job. Other than that. It's that's that's a rare air and very cool company. I, I thought that was cool. And thanks for pointing that out. That was really it was really cool. It was meaningful for sure. Let's have a little fun here. Let's make as me, like let's make our perfect teams together to do games together in Chicago. Like I would love I would love for uh, Pat Foley and Stoney to get together to do a Bulls game. Like there are combinations we can pull together. Do you like, just want to throw darts at the wall and whoever we land with? That's the, I'm, let's do it. Stacy and Eddie Olchick together. Eddie, oh, that's and, my man. And Swirsky doing a Bears game. There, let's do it. Jo- Joniak can jump in and do the Cubs or something. We'll we'll make it all work. There's there's a lot of slots with a lot of like very talented people. I, I'm sure we can make that work. I often have, and uh, um, you know, Adam and Jason, um, you guys do a lot of different sports. So Stacy, you might relate to this, but I often have like these weird dreams where I'm tabbed to do a sport or a game and I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm like, it's like that, that being late for class or missing a test or whatever. Do you ever have that Stacy where you're like, wait a minute, I'm doing what game tomorrow? Like, I, I don't know anything about this sport or these teams. I have that dream like once a month. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I mean, baseball was it for me. I mean, I watch baseball a lot and I, I love baseball. I love going to the baseball park more so than watching it on TV. Um, I, I think the biggest thing for me the other night was uh, we weren't at the ballpark. We had to actually call it from the game. And we know Adam knows how hard it was to do basketball from the TV monitor. But I will say this, you guys have a way nicer setup than we do uh, in our room. They, they put us in a, a broom closet. Uh, with uh, with a lot of cleaning supplies where you guys get the big two monitors and like four TVs on the wall. I was like, yo, can we get this too? Like, I was like, whoa. If you guys were wondering why Stacy and I have some of the hijinks we do, I think it's basically the chemicals from the cleaning supplies that have, yes. uh, have, have yes. infiltrated us. That's why we get a little yes. goofy on some of these games more than anything else. 